We now know how to simplify rational expressions. Now it's time to uh, operate on rational expressions and uh, we will start in multiplying rational expressions. As I said in my previous video, the rules we use in simplifying fractions is the same rules we use in evaluating, simplifying, and operating on rational uh, expressions. Okay, so to multiply, just like uh, fractions, to multiply rational expressions, we use the following property of fractions. Uh, if we have A over B multiplied by C over D, we just need to multiply the numerators together all over the product of the denominators. Okay, so we factor, but before we are going to multiply, first we need to factor the numerator and denominator. And then after multiplying the numerators together and the denominators together, we can simplify the expression. Okay, so we shall illustrate this one in the following example. Okay, so we have 5t over 8 multiplied by 4 all over 3t squared. Okay, so we can uh, actually write this one now since we are multiplying. Okay, so we multiply the numerators together. So that's 4 or 5t times 4. Five t times four, and then the denominator eight times three t squared. Okay, so we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Okay, and then uh, before simplifying or before uh, really multiplying we can cancel out the common factors of the denominator and the numerator like for this example 8 and 4 have common divisors or common factors they can be both divided by 2 right or 4 okay so we can divide this by 4 the answer is 2 we can divide this by 4 the answer is 1 how about 5t and 3t squared? We can cancel out t here and we can cancel out 2 becomes 1. Okay, so we can now multiply the numerators together. That's 5 times 1. 5 times 1 is 5. And the denominators we have 2, 3t raised to 1. So 2 times 3 is 6 times t okay t raised to 1 or simply t okay so this is now the product of the two rational expressions okay next let us have another example okay so 4x over 3y multiplied by 3x squared y squared all over 10 okay so we need to multiply the numerators together 3x squared y squared and then the denominators together we have 3y multiplied by 10 okay, and then we can cancel out common factors here okay so what are the common factors okay 3 and 3 are common factors 3 and 3 okay 4 and 10 they can be both divided by 2 so this becomes 2 this one becomes 5 when divided by 2 okay and then y we can cancel out y here and this y squared becomes y raised to 1 any other else i think there's no more now we can multiply okay we have 2x multiplied by x squared y that's 2x cubed Yes, that's x and x squared. So x cubed y 
and then divided by or all over 5. That is now the simplified form of the rational expression. Okay, another one. We have x squared plus 4x minus 5 all over 3x plus 18 multiplied by 2x minus 1 all over x plus 5. Okay, so uh, we can write this. We can we can multiply the numerators together. So x squared plus 4x minus 5 multiplied by 2x minus 1 and then divided by 3x plus 18 multiplied by x plus 5 okay and then we can factor if there are things that needs to be factored okay so x squared plus 4x minus 5 can be factored right so x squared plus 4x minus 5 has a factor has factors of uh, x and x that's x and x factors of negative 5 that when added together is equal to positive 4 that's positive 5 and negative 1 right so positive 5 and negative 1 okay 2x minus 1 cannot be factored so we can write as it is 2x minus 1 and then all over 3x plus 18 we can factor out 3 the greatest common factor 3 and then what is left is x plus 6 okay and then x plus 5 cannot be factored out so that's x plus 5 okay? and then we can cancel out the common factors x plus 5 and x plus 5 are common uh, I think there's no more common factor so we can write the simplified form x minus 1 times 2x minus 1 all over 3 times x plus 6 okay so that is now the simplified form of the rational expression okay so i think uh I, you got that one okay next let us go to our last example in multiplying rational expression okay we have x minus 5 all over 4x squared minus 9 times 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 all over 2x squared minus 11x plus 5 okay so we can uh, factor out okay. we can actually factor out before multiplying okay x minus 5 cannot be factored out this is prime right we cannot further factor it 4x squared minus 9 is difference of 2 squares that's 2x squared minus 3 squared so the factors are 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3 right okay and then the other one 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is a I think this is a perfect square trinomial okay so that's 2x and the other one is uh, this is 2x this is 3 2x times 3 6x times 2, 12 this is a perfect square trinomial right so the factors are 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 or 2x plus 3 squared okay and the trinomial below we have 2x squared minus 11x plus 5 that is not a perfect square trinomial so that is a trinomial a quadratic trinomial okay we can do the trial and error or the grouping method okay and you should come up with okay 2x minus 1 multiplied by uh, x minus 5 okay 
So those are the factors of the given polynomials. Now we can cancel out the common factors. We can cancel out the common factors here. Okay, first we have x minus 5, x minus 5 and x minus 5 over there. Okay, and uh, 2x plus 3. Okay, so this is cancelled out, 2x plus 3. Since uh, this is 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3, 1, 2x plus 3 will be cancelled out. There's another 2x plus 3 there. Okay, so I think there's no more common factor. So we can write what is left. That's 2x plus 3 all over 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 1. Okay, so this is the simplified form of the given rational expression. Okay, so that's it for multiplying rational expressions.